Well, good evening, everybody, and uh, welcome to the Casual Cook Show. You'll have to excuse me. I've been running around all week. I haven't even shaved. And But it's live. It's live. I was going to say TV, but it's live internet. And uh, we have lots of background noises because we are coming to you live from the Meskwamika Beach Drive-In because our guest that we're going to be bringing on tonight uh, is going to be here at the drive-in on Saturday night. So we're here in Meskwamika Beach, and uh, you may be watching us on the Casual Cook Show page. You may be watching us on the Meskwamika Beach uh, uh, Facebook page or um, YouTube page or the drive-in page. So uh, if you are watching us tonight, type in the comments where you're watching from. And uh, if you uh, ever come to Meskwamika Beach, and if you plan on coming to Meskwamika Beach this weekend. So it gives me great pleasure to bring on my uh, guest tonight, Christine DeBell. Uh, ben, bring her on. How are you? Hi, I'm well, thanks. How are you? Well, you know, we're, we're getting ready for you to come visit us. And I'm very excited about that. I thought you were going to say you're very scared about that. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm thrilled. I'm excited to be there. Well, we want to treat you to uh, a little bit of life at the beach this weekend. Um, we want to thank the Pleasant View Inn, uh, which is the uh, hotel of choice, and it overlooks the ocean, so you'll have an ocean view this weekend. And um, there's a lot of friendly people here in, in uh, Westerly, Rhode Island, Musquamica Beach. So let's get to why uh, why you're coming down here. We're going to be playing one of the movies that you were a co-star in. Tell us what movie we're showing Saturday night. You are showing Meatballs. And well, there's some there's some pictures we're already showing on the screen. There's you yep. and Bill Murray. Um, I am. So, so you know, uh, this was a, a, a huge movie in your career. Mm -hmm. It's it's definitely a, a classic, a cult classic. Uh, there's, yep. there's there's many words to describe it. In fact, the guy who um, his daughter works here, uh, his he all summer long, all he's been talking about is the fact that you're coming, and that we're showing this movie because we've never shown meatballs before at the drive-in. So you must get that a lot, people, when they come to a comic con or one of the the events that you do. What what are some of the things that people say to you about that movie? Well, it, when I've done Chiller, they actually come in costume. So, yeah, that's pretty cool, right? Uh, yeah, you're dressed as Morty and um, and as the the dark haired girl. I can't her name was Maureen, but I can't think of her character at the moment. But um, yeah, I mean, meatball. I've met people that have said I play meatballs on the roof of my building that he lives in in California, ev the beginning of every summer, and I get the same messages on my. Um, you know, on my fan pages, <clears throat> things like, oh, you know, I, it's not summer until the entire family watches Meatballs. Well, because, you know, so many people over the years have had that sort of summer camp experience. I mean, in one way or another. And I mean, that movie just epitomizes th that uh, that reality. Um, we got Jeff Hutton. Pretty cool, Caswell. This is really cool. OK, well, that's good. We like to keep the comments coming while we're live, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, thank so, you. You know, uh, you were a model. Um, and was Meatballs your, your first, you know, big movie or what was, you know, was, how did it, how did you come to arrive at being in this movie? Well, it's interesting because people ask me that, oh, did I know, I, you know, I don't think anyone knew how the, how it would, that it would end, end up becoming a cult classic, but it was just like any other audition. You know, my agent says, oh, you got to be here at this time. So I show up. And I, I honestly don't even remember the audition, but I do remember the phone call that said she has the part. So, yeah. And it was pretty exciting. There were three of us, four of us from, from the States. Um, Russ Bannum, um, who plays Crockett, he was from New York, but the rest of us were from Cal. Well, and Bill obviously was from New York, but the rest of the two other, myself and, and Wheels were from, LA. We just had a question. We just had a, we just had a question pop up on the screen. What's your favorite scene favorite from scene. Meatballs? My favorite scene is the one I, I, I talked about this earlier, how it was just very, the whole movie became very improvisational, which I love, Bill, which was what Bill is about, right? And Ivan was like, yeah, so the, the, this, the girl's cabin scene, the later one, not the one 
with the third grade girls are really. The later one where we're, I'm crawling across the floor and then we hear Fink under the, that was, you know, I said, how about this, Ivan? He goes, yeah, that's great. And the popping our heads out behind the tree, I'm like, Can, let's do it like this. And he's like, that's amazing. You know what I mean? It was just so creative in that way. It's like, I have an idea. Someone else has an idea. You know, Ivan says, oh, let's, all of us. It was a lot so of fun. So when you were doing this movie, was Bill Murray a big deal? I mean, he he had not really been in a. He was in Saturday Night Bill, Live. Bill who? No. <laughs> yeah, you had to. You. I think he just started on Saturday Night Live. You know what I mean? It's like I don't. I don't know that I saw it from the very beginning. I wasn't a big television watcher, but somebody would say, "Oh, have you seen Saturday Night Live?" And then you know, suddenly you know, they have a huge audience. But um, no, I mean, I I just, I mean. Yeah, I'm thinking about it. No, mm -mm. just seemed like, I mean, maybe Bill knew that he was going to be huge. And he, I, we, I just felt like we were all just like a bunch of actors having a great time. Well, it was funny. Um, uh, well, we just had another question. What was it like working with Ivan Reitman? Well, you just kind of said that he let you do what you wanted. Yeah, I mean, someone um, mentioned I did a Canadian fundraiser where they got a group of us back together. And um <clears throat> Someone said, oh, well, it was, you know, Ivan seemed like he was uh, angry all the time. And I did not see that. But someone later said, I think Danny, no, Danny didn't make it. Well, someone who, was Danny Goldberg? Yeah, whatever. Da I think Danny then said, I, he was really worried about, you know, the, the budget, the funding going over, you know, that kind of stuff. That's the type of stuff he would worry about. Right. Well, um, so what is it like, I mean, 43 years later, you probably, you certainly would have had no idea at the time that no. you, in, in the year 2022, you'd be talking about this movie. No, no, no. no. And no. Does it, it, what, I mean, what's it like? I mean, I, I've talked to a lot of musicians, you know, and you say, well, what's it like when you got to play that same song your whole career? What's it like as an actress where you've done plenty of other stuff? And we're going to talk about Night Court and, and, and I want to talk about Chips and some other shows you've been on. But is it a good feeling that people are, you know, still coming up to you about this movie? Oh yeah, I absolutely because it's uh, even I, I I went out to I was I'm in New York now. I went back to California recently with a friend, and I'm just saying we're staying at my son's house, and he says, "Oh my gosh, mom, meatballs is on. Let's watch it." And I'm like, "Okay," and I think I actually posted a picture of me a scene I'm in with me. I took the picture, but it's just it's a fun. It was fun to make. Bill was amazing. And somehow that insinuates itself into everything about the film, right? People loved it. I, I can't tell you how much I, I, I've seen it quite often. I have a very cute story that my son will hate because he's in the next room. But when he was little, we were living in Williamstown, Massachusetts. And he, and I said to him, my girlfriends were like, well, let's get together and watch meatballs. Or maybe I had invited them. And he said, mom, I can't believe you're inviting people over to watch you in a movie. And then I think a week later, it was on HBO. And he, I'm, I think he's in the first or second grade. I don't know, he's in the back and he goes, mom, you're on HBO. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that's pretty cool. I know. Um, it, it, now, speaking of Bill Murray, before we we're going to play a clip and then we're going to get on to talk about other stuff besides meatballs tonight. But um, I just saw a video where Bill Murray jumped up with a Rhode Island band called Steve Smith and the Nakeds and sang a song with them. And there's been a lot of Bill Murray because I think he goes to the vineyard in the in the summer. And so there's a lot of like Rhode Island sightings of Bill Murray. So if you're watching Bill, come on down Saturday and, you know, you guys can reunite. <laughs> um, we do want to play a clip from Meatballs uh, to refresh people's memory, and uh, you see the whole thing on, on Saturday night. But go ahead, Ben, play that clip. This is a very serious moment. It is. Don't you know what tonight is? Tonight's our third anniversary. Three years ago tonight, we met. Oh, that is serious. Oh, God, I'm sorry. I forgot. Hey. 
Happy anniversary. You know, Will's Fridger, a really nice guy. Come on, let's dance. Come on. No, I don't help. One, two, three. Simple as that. Come on, let's dance. <laughs> All these you fall. <laughs> you were putting him clearly in the friend zone. Yeah. Well, let me just say this. The, 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 the comment that I, or question rather, which I thought would pop up or will pop up at any minute is, wow, your, your voice seems so much deeper in the movie. <laughs> I have to say, yeah, that's because I got sick and had laryngitis for a big time. So it's funny for me to see myself and hear me going, because I, I was drinking hot toddies and, you know, whatever, trying to, all those herbal cures, I don't know. Well, Saturday night, folks, if you're watching, we're going to have uh, Christine here at the drive-in, so you should come on down. It's going to be fun. The gates open at 6.30. The movie starts at 9. Uh, she's going to be here from 7.30 on, and we're going to do a and a just before the, uh, the movie, and uh, we're, we're going to have fun. Now, let's talk about some of the other stuff that, that you did. Number one. <laughs> You were in one of uh, Jackie Chan's first English-speaking movies. How did that one come about? Um, that's an interesting one, actually, because Raymond Chow hired me for the part, and then I was with a friend who uh, I, he was he was driving, and I'm in the passenger seat, and we're in an accident, and I I still have the scar, and I went through the windshield or just hit the whatever, so I end up in the ER, and they waited. They. Uh, and I'm and, and at the time, I think it wasn't later until you realize uh, when you, real life hits you or when you're young, sometimes you just don't think thinking back. I, I didn't think that was strange or was just like, oh, wow, thank you. But it's like, seriously, he wanted me for the part so badly that he waited for my eye to heal before shooting. That's crazy. Who that is crazy. That? And you were also. Um played the girlfriend of Richard Gere. And those both are my favorite things to say. I was Richard Gere's first and I was Jackie Chan's oh, first. Yeah. That's pretty good. Now, uh, the ladies will want to know, well, anyone will want to know, what was it like working with Richard Gere? <laughs> it's so funny, yeah. He was lovely, he, you know, very sweet, you know, but I think very, you know, he's coming in, I think it was his first film. So he didn't seem to me like he was nervous, but I think as a guy, he was just trying to not look nervous, maybe. He just was was very focused on his acting and his work, which is great. And I thought he was really, really cute at the time. We got we got the Jackie Chan picture from from the previous conversation. <laughs> There's a good still from them from that movie. Now tell us about the TV the TV shows that you were in. First of all, I I saw that you were an episode of one of my favorite shows from when I was a kid, uh, Chips. So, yeah. what, what was it like when you started doing television and uh, you know popular shows like that all the way through to Night Court and you know this this other ones that I. I'm not remembering my head that you were on, but tell us some of those shows that you were on. Well, it's funny because I was thinking I should pull up my IMDb page so I know what to, you know, like, oh, yeah, I made a movie with who, who, oh, yeah, Linda Hamilton, look it up. Um, no, you know what it is, is if, to me, they did not seem like, you know, well, I mean, it's just so weird when I was young, I just seemed to be in the clouds some, somehow in that I, it was just a job. It's like, oh, I'm, you know, I'm going to go and I'm going to do this. and I'm going to good job and I'm going to, then I'm going to go home. I don't know. It's like, I didn't even, hmm. it's just weird. I think thinking back, like when someone says to me, well, what did you think about working with so-and-so? It's like, I, you know, I don't know. No, I get what you're saying. I mean, I don't get what you're saying because I yeah. haven't been in the great, great stuff you've been in. <laughs> But I mean, I understand what you're saying. What um, now? Did you take some time off from acting? Yeah, I did. But hold on, I do have a great chips. You asked me about chips. Here's the chips. I want to know. 
I am, it's one of my first television shows, right? And I'm standing there ready to do my lines and all of a sudden everybody stops and they're all standing still and they're like, did you feel it? Did you feel it? And I'm like, feel what? It was an earthquake. But to me, I mean, I wouldn't have known an earthquake if it, I thought the second time it happened, I thought the refrigerator motor was on the blink. <laughs> I don't know what they, but that I do, you know, I remember that about chips. Well, you went on the show and the earth shook. Yes. Right. <laughs> right. So now tell me about Night Court. Night Court was great. Um, John La Roquette was amazing. I mean, there was really a great cast. The, the, you know, the scene where I'm walking in the bathroom the two, the lady with the raspy voice and the, it's like, oh my God, they were such veterans and so good and so talented. And I was, it was incredible. I just... And I was excited. That was one show that I guess a lady caught up with me enough for me to be very excited to be there. And also the show is live. And here's the problem with that. We rehearse all week for a, to, for a live audience. And then Fridays we break for dinner and then we do the show. Well, what happened was is for they, the producers came out and said they weren't keen on the opening scene, the scene where we're chatting in the very, very beginning on his couch. And um, yeah, so they said, here, you have to, re the scenes change, relearn all these lines. So I'm like <laughs> trying to eat. And this is what happens in, in film and television. It's like the behind the scenes. I'm trying to eat and learn all these new lines. But you did all right. Oh yeah, well, <laughs> I had to, it's my job. Is it hard to memorize lines? I it I did Tennessee Williams, so I would have to say no. It's just like a muscle, right? When you you're forced to use it or you use it a lot. I uh, I no, I was pretty good at it. And then you took time off from acting, right? Yep. I didn't raise. want to raise my voice, or I wanted to raise my boys on a farm at like I was raised. Well, that's good. And then when did you get back into it? Oh mm, seven. Oh, I went back out in oh six. No, maybe it was oh seven. And when did all this, like, these conventions and those sort of things, when, when did that start in your life? I think my first chiller was, like, maybe it's every couple of years, they say, but COVID stretched that out. So maybe my first chiller was six years ago. I don't remember because he called me. Um, I can't think of his name right now, but the guy who does the chiller, and, and I should know his name. And it's, Mr. Yeah. Chiller, yeah. Yeah. It's, no, 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 no. no. <laughs> Not Chiller. No, I take it back. Chiller was not the first. It was the uh, was one in L.A. And that's why I should know the person. I should know their name. But it was like and my agent called and said, oh, yeah, uh, they want you to you're going to do this uh, a signing. And I'm like, well, what is that? And then I was like, well, should I be doing that? I mean, I'm I'm an actor. I, I want to act. I, should I be signing? You know that I had that conversation with myself in my head. And then it's like, OK, why not? So I, that, I think that was, I don't know, six years ago, maybe. And then the, it's then pretty recent, but it's pretty recent for you. It's pretty, it's, it's a recent thing. Yes. Yeah. I mean, you know, six years isn't really long to most people. It is to a 12 year old, but. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, okay. So oh, that was the thing. When did you, yeah, six years ago, I started doing conventions. Yeah. <laughs> so how many times have you come to a drive-in movie theater? And, okay. and, and, ben, and ben. this is that's the this is the first time ever. I didn't even know this was this thing. Well, it's not. We just made it a thing. Yeah, well, <laughs> I did, but then I think it's happened in other places because my friend Kelly Maroney also recently somewhere in Texas or something did an appearance at a drive-in. I'm like, wait, what? It's but totally it's, it's, it totally got revived because of COVID, because during COVID, our drive-in which, you know, it, we haven't been here a long time like some of these other ones around the country. But so many had closed over the years and things like that. And all of a sudden, COVID, it was like the only game in town for people to go do something social. And right. it really became a thing. And then having folks like yourself come, you know, and introduce a movie and talk about a movie before we play it. So yeah, hopefully it's here to stay. It'd be fun if we could do this uh, every summer and keep doing it. But Oh, um, yeah, absolutely. I think it's, it's great. I mean, if well, I listen, was in a town and someone that I, you know, was, I would absolutely go. 
Well, so we hope you folks out there watching, at least if you can drive to Westerly, Rhode Island, you know, we don't want you to drive 200 miles with the price of gas, but if you want to, it's okay. But we hope if you're out there watching us tonight and you're in the vicinity, you'll come down on Saturday nights and uh, we'll have a great night and a lot of fun and um, yes. take some pictures, sign some autographs, ask some questions and play a really cool movie. So, Christine, thank you so much for being with us tonight. Thank and, you uh, for having me. And I look forward to seeing you this weekend. We will and all actually, of you as well. We okay. will actually meet on Saturday. That's wonderful. <laughs> well, all right. Thank you very much. Have a good night. Okay, you too. Thanks for having me. You got it. All right, Christine DeBell here on the Caswell Cook Show and uh, going to be live at the drive-in in Musquamica Beach on Saturday. So get your tickets now. It's only $25 for an entire car load. Put people in the trunk. We don't care. We don't count. Just bring them in and uh, come a little bit early so you can take a picture with Christine and uh, maybe get something signed. And we're going to have the Q&A on stage before we screen the movie and talk all about some of the things we talked about tonight. And maybe I'll have some more original questions by Saturday night as well. So thank you all for watching the Caswell Cook Show. Thanks for watching us here on Musquamica Beach. And we will see you Saturday. Hey, everybody. It's Avery Movie with some do's and don'ts when you come visit the Musquamica Drive-In Movie Theater. Do buy your tickets online. Don't bring cash. Do pull up to the stop sign for assistance. Don't park yourself. Do throw your trash in the waste receptacles. Don't be a litter bug. Do turn your lights off. Don't be inconsiderate. Do talk quietly during the movie. Don't yell. Do come to our concession stand to get some delicious goodies. Don't order delivery. Do buy our sick merch so you can look just like me. Don't commit identity theft. It's a serious crime. And remember, do have fun when you come to visit the Mesquamacit Drive-In Movie Theater.